Hi, it's Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to install Git on Windows and then configure IntelliJ to use it. So before you can use IntelliJ with Git, you need to install Git itself. Um, so we have a link here in the instructions to the downloads page for Git, uh, where you can find the version for Windows. I'm not sure whether you need to do this on Mac or not. Um, I think if you install certain developer tools on Mac, you actually end up with Git, but you may need to do this on a Macintosh as well. But the process will be roughly the same. So I'm going to download the uh, Git installer and run it. It's going to ask me the normal questions about where, um, you know, accepting license agreements, where to put things. So this is important. Um, at this point, you need to keep um, an eye on where Git is being installed. So in this case, it's being installed into um, the program files, um, parentheses x86 uh, subdirectory of my C drive, because I'm going to need this when I use uh, to configure IntelliJ. Um, OK, so I want to um, install all of the default components. Um, this is fine. It's going to create shortcuts in the start menu. That's also OK. Um, I can use Notepad here. I don't uh, I have VM or Nano or something. Um, you can decide what you want. You can install Notepad++ if you want to use that. Uh, we're going to use IntelliJ to edit files. So um, Now, this is pretty important. You need to make sure that you uh, select Use Git from the Windows command prompt here. Um, if you don't do this, it'll, uh, it will fail later when you would try to integrate Git with IntelliJ. OK, default settings here are fine. Um, and uh, this is also fine. And we're going to hit install. OK, great. So um, the installer is going to copy some things into place. This is going to take a few minutes. Uh, while this is running, I'm going to show you how to start the process of uh, configuring IntelliJ to use Git. So I'm going to launch IntelliJ over here. Um, while the Git installer runs, let's see if I can minimize this. Yep, great. OK, so I'm going to fire up IntelliJ. And until you integrate IntelliJ with Git, you're not going to be able to check out uh, Git-based projects. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say configure. So it's going to take a minute. I'm going to go and open the settings dialog, which is, again, going to open a little bit slowly on this machine. And then down here, open up the version control and then get over to Git. Um, so it looks like at this point it has actually found this. Maybe this is like the default location for uh, the Git executable. But if your installer is putting things in a different location, you may need to change this path. Um, so I'm going to, uh, the Git installer has finished. I'm going to hit close. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, I don't, no, don't need to look at the install nodes. Um, OK. And I'm going to hit test. And at this point, Git executed successfully. And so now I've got Git integrated properly. Um, if you need help with this, please come to office hours. Um, but uh, if you install Git and put it in the default location, then um, IntelliJ should just work. Uh, so good luck.